What's up, retro gamers? And that's right, we've sunk that low. I'm wearing mouse ears. Today on Game Overcast, I we... have no idea what this podcast is about. <laughs> Me. Like, I was just told to show up. We're actually I'm... <laughs> we're gonna roll the intro now and make something up for the show. So don't worry about it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, 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 Retro Mouse Gamers. Um, welcome to episode 19 of Game Overcast. On this episode, we are clearly talking Disney. What? Just a little bit. Disney, yay! <laughs> <laughs> so this hat is not going to be on the whole time. And not because I don't want to wear it, because I'm going to go, hey, Brit. And it's going to do just that. Just don't so. move your head. Just, look, just, just, just be a just robot, okay? Be a ro- <gasps> I know that it's hard. Be a robot oh, and God. stare at the I camera. I said the magic Hello, Why did I say to that? Game Overcast. Oh, I am gosh. a Gundam. <laughs> now I'm going to deal with I'm this. I'm a Gundam like with forever. stupid. Well, the I do entire have, show. You know, I do have the droid hat. So, I mean. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's you can true. never escape the robots. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we are going to be talking about, because there are so many Disney games, video games out there, especially on the older systems. I say that, but there's so many even on like PS1 and PS2. So oh, I mean, yeah. The only oh, time yeah. we saw a bit of a decline was on the newer systems. Even then, there was a ton. But I mean, just tonnage of Disney games. So we're going to be keeping it specifically to NES, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis. And unfortunately, I have been banned from talking about... We're, we're we're only Star talking Wars about games? Disney games <laughs> that were Disney games. So when Star Wars, when Super Star Wars came out, it was not Apparently a Disney game. Apparently, it doesn't count. Just like we're not going to talk about Spider Man or X Men or mm. any. Well, X, X, X Men still isn't owned by Marvel, so it's well, okay. I just want, I, I'm also banned from talking about Kingdom Hearts and Epic Mickey, which because, I'm very because Kingdom sad. Hearts was not on the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, or NES. There yeah, will be I another know. show, at least another show, yes. on Disney games where we. Delve into the PlayStation or Dreamcast or yeah, Saturn. Absolutely. I mean, I there we could almost do a show per console because yeah. I'm going to say this right now: there are games that we forgot about. There are games I'm that we so didn't sorry. have time to play. Uh, you'll notice there's only two of us here because scheduling conflicts. There was only the two of us showing up on the show this time. There was only so much we could play in a month while doing our regular stuff. So we did the best we could. I know we forgot stuff. Uh, we were actually making this list. I was like, "Crap, we didn't play that." Quick, we got to find it. We got to play. <laughs> so it's bad. There's a ton of them. There are a lot more than I anticipated like I knew there was a lot but then when we sat down and we're like okay we're gonna play all of these games I was like holy cow that's, yeah, that's a lot of stuff and we a just lot of games. we started by compiling the games that we both respectively own and then we're like okay who do we know that has Disney games let's go from there and it was just it was a, it was a madness <laughs> yeah it was crazy <laughs> but to do please bear with us if we forgot one of your favorite Disney games if I talk smack about one of your favorite Disney games because I think half of them suck please let us know at podcast at gameovervideogames.com that being said, uh, let's lead into what's going on in the gaming world right now, Britt. Uh, Anything right good? now? Like, literally, right now. Well, what is Miyamoto doing right now? Uh, call him up. I'm going to call him you right call now. Him right you know now. what? We're friends. Like, excuse we, me, no, stop making crappy Pokemon I wish. platformers. That would be I mean, Pokemon platformers. Hey, Pikmin? Pikmin? Pe- Pe- what? Pikmin. 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 Hey, you, you should do hat? that. The hat's dying. Okay, you know what? The hat goes right here. I would play a, a Pikamon right if that there. was a thing. I would play it. Because it's not I think it would head. be really cute. And they look like, they could be like Pokemon. Like weird, like, it's just a game specifically about leaf-type Pokemon. So they it's could, just like Bulbasaur Pikmin's, and Friends. Like, they could totally pass as Pokemon. Like, if they wanted to guest star in a Pokemon game, like, I feel like it wouldn't be weird. <laughs> like, you it randomly catch a blue Pikmin and be like, wait a minute. It would it could work. <laughs> I see it. What I is this it. thing? Okay. <laughs> Anyways... Oh, well, I know I'm not supposed to talk about it, but I'm super excited because at D23, which is the Disney Expo, they were talking about Kingdom Hearts. So I'm really hoping that Kingdom Hearts 3 actually, actually comes out next year. It has. They have a release window year, and it's 2018. Do you think it's going to come out in 2018? I really hope so, because we have been waiting for over a decade for this game. I've been waiting for this game since I was like... Since you played Kingdom Hearts 2. And I was like, what, 17? That was 11 years ago. I had just moved to Texas, so... Yeah, about a decade ago, I think. Yeah. Wow, guys. That's a really long time, and it also better be the best thing since sliced bread. That's something else. But I think it will be. No matter how good it is... There's no way. It's it's like when Diablo 3 came out and Duke Nukem Forever. Mind you, those were Diablo 3 had a horrible launch and Duke Nukem Forever was a horrible game. Well, see, the sad thing is... Well, what about Final Fantasy 15? There's one. Oh, that's delayed, true. That delayed, 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 delayed. Really good game. Got so much hate. Will never live up to expectations ever. 
but it was also a game that was very successful. Yeah. And I've heard a lot of people, like, there wasn't a bandwagon of hate for that game. Oh, yes, there was. I, f- I, I did not see it. Uh, out of all the people that I talked to, everybody said they loved it. They loved the, the feels, the music, the whatever, the atmosphere, ev- the characters. And I really liked the characters as well. So I feel like I did not sense a hateful bandwagon <laughs> I did, I did like not some sense others, a hateful presence. i.e. Mass Effect. I do not believe, in my personal opinion, and you can hate me, but I don't believe it deserved the hate that it got. Mass Effect. I, I don't mean. think it deserved the hate that it got. It definitely wasn't a very good game, though. People came on, came down to – if you haven't played Mass Effect Andromeda, it's not a terrible game. It's just really broken all. and has – Horrible animation. And supposedly there was an update for that. And, and when it fixed the eyes. That's it, the eyes. Well, so you still have, like, a good face. It's like... I know someone, a really good friend of mine, who loves Mass Effect. She's a huge Mass Effect fan, and she's very happy with the game. She doesn't think that the animation is that bad. And I have to agree with her that I think it was kind of a little bit of a of a party wagon that people got on. It's still pretty bad. But... I'm okay. sorry. Trip- <laughs> Triple A games should be held to triple A standards. Yeah, I get that. But at the same time, I also get, like, if it's a good game, I don't really care about graphics. Like, I. That sounds terrible. Because I want my game to look pretty, yes. But it's not the only thing to me. No, it's not. And if it's a fantastic game, then I can forgive certain things. But it wasn't a fantastic game. Mass Effect has never been a fantastic game. It's been pretty darn good. But it's had a really good story, it's had really good art design. And I mean, it just. Mind you, Mass Effect has never been perfect like it's always been kind of buggy mm-hmm. it's like elder scrolls is always kind of buggy and fallout was always kind of buggy but it, i think See, there's a point where we should stop forgiving that stuff i'm glad you pointed that out though hold on, hold on. i i knew this is i knew where to go but hold on <laughs> we're at a point now where it's like oh it's a bethesda game it's gonna be broken why are we paying 60 dollars for a game when we know it's gonna be broken people just love it and people forgive those things they forgive that your Elder Scrolls may glitch and you'll never talk to the guy that you need to talk to to complete that quest. But that's fine. Elder Scrolls is still like... <sighs> it's okay. I didn't want to be Grey Fox or people anything. People so treat that game like it's Jesus. And I'm not saying that it's not. I I love Elder Scrolls as much as the next dude. But I'm just saying... It's the next dude. It's not. You can forgive... Although, people forgive those glitches and stuff. And I feel like that's a little unfair. That's all I'm saying. So do you remember? I'm trying to. I'm remember, trying to make Do you remember peace. when Elder Scrolls was a Disney uh, Disney game? Okay. A Disney, Disney, <laughs> Disney game. Disney but you know what? Disney will probably own it in the future because Disney's going to own everything. That's the my belief. The mouse is going to own you in a couple like, of years. We're going to worship like this giant mouse, and the mouse Mickey's going to be president. And... <laughs> this dystopian future where there's like yes. the rubble of like Disneyland and people are, like living in the the, the Pinocchio ride and stuff. And just, exactly. We've, yes. we've devolved. Our, our civilization. <laughs> It's like the time machine. We've regressed back to like just worshiping ancient the mouse civilization. Deity. <laughs> There's gonna be like Disney, whatever. Oh, I mean, it almost works because now Disney owns Marvel and they have and Star and Wars. They have Norse gods. Two and, huge yeah. powerhouses. Huge powerhouses. I'm telling you, they're gonna take over the world. I believe it. It's fine with me. I'm ready. So. <laughs> okay, so Kingdom Hearts three. <laughs> and what I meant was rubble, like. The, Okay, I. You know what? I give up. Interpretive dance. I give for up. Rubble. This means rocks. And <laughs> I said stuff. like ancient ruins. Like it's gonna be like ancient ruins, and people are gonna be like, "Yes, they used to worship the mouse." Okay. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> yes, back in ancient history of 2017, <laughs> yeah. they worshipped this strange animated mouse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we don't understand it now. We all worship Gundams, as you rightfully should. Sorry. Oh, Anyways, gosh. so anything else cool going on? Wait. Yes, there is. The first trailer for Ready Player One Ooh, yes. popped up during uh, Comic Con, which I was just last week. I love that book week. so much. So good. Zovara <laughs> looks pretty good. <laughs> it does. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, watch it. It's pretty awesome. If you haven't read the book, read it first off. Yes, because it is super fantastic. Like, if, and if you don't read, you need to get the audiobook. And a, why don't you read? But if you don't, that's fine. But you need to get the audiobook because it's fantastic. <laughs> You will be glued and on the edge of your seat. The dulcet tones of Will Wheaton. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did read the audio. Yeah. It's amazing, though. It's super lovely. I, I get the feeling I after love watching... I the story. Oh, it's great, yeah. Mm-hmm. After watching the trailer a dozen or so times, I really get the feeling that you're going to have to watch the movie about a dozen or so times to see all the references. Which makes me really happy because one of the things that I was most scared about with that movie is that 
it has so many references and so many things that relate to pop culture. I was really concerned, so many franchises, I was really concerned that they weren't going to have the budget, you know, because they have to pay those people uh, and they have to pay those franchises. And I was worried that they were going to skimp out on that. And from the trailer, it looks like they're not, and I'm super stoked. Yeah, here's hoping. I'm ready. I mean, because in the trailer, you already saw, you know, there was the obvious, there was the DeLorean, the Akira motorcycle. Which was really cool. <laughs> um, Iron Giant, which was pretty sweet. Freddy. Yeah, you saw Freddy Krueger. There's a Duke Nukem. Um, I saw, what was what you call it, a Deadpool and Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. Someone who looked a lot like Gandalf already, kind of in the thing. Just so much stuff. They of used uh, Willy Wonka music, which was yeah, super cool. Yeah, which is awesome. <laughs> um, like Bigfoot. I'm pretty sure I saw the Mad Max car in that race. Oh, I could wow. be wrong. I know I saw the A-Team van. Oh, cool. <laughs> so just like, see, I didn't mm. see any of that. but I, I watched it a lot. <laughs> But my one goal, um, Classic Game Fest is this weekend, so you're actually going to be listening or watching to this after Classic Game Fest. So if you were there, good to see you. If Yay. not, anyways, <laughs> my one goal at CGF this year is to just to get a hold of Ernie Klein and be like, so look, you you worked on the screenplay. Is Ultraman still there? Are, are the Gundams still there? Just 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 nod. It's okay. Don't spoil anything. <laughs> just 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 yes. If they're like it doesn't like Mazinger. If did any of the Mecha survive other than Iron Freaking Giant, which is the one I care the least about? No offense if you like Iron Giant. Great depressing movie, Superman. But it's really sad. Yeah. I, I want my Minerva X. I, you know, I want my Radine. I want you know. You I would, I know you don't know who any of those no, are. That's okay. I was just thinking that I would be really impressed. Uh, if they manage to to get Bandai in on this, but I think that they will because Money's Gundam. Money talks, buddy. That too, but Gundam is getting really big again. Yeah, and they're they're coming out with a, they're actually putting out so an American Gundam help, yeah. game. So and you know. So we'll see. Previously, the games have always had. We I love the Gundam games. I'm. I know it's weird. I'm. It's not my favorite show ever. Um, but I really I do like robots, and I really like. Gundam like I love the games she's been converted <laughs> well no I mean I've always you know when I was a kid I wanted to build a robot which is like really strange not a big one just a small one my dad was like a huge handyman so I was like let's build a robot he's like yeah we pockets. could totally do that but even though it was probably like, super unrealistic say, crazy daughter <laughs> super unrealistic but I, I just thought it was really cool but I really like the games um the games are really fun to play and I just really click with the games I'm really good at them so yeah so it may not be my favorite show, but I really love the games. But and so I, hopefully, though, yeah. we will see some of that in this movie. We will have to wait till 2018 to find out. Um, but you know, but that's not so far. I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna talk to him. He's, <laughs> he's gonna be doing an interview on the panel stage. I'll be like, hey, before you go on there, just just answer the question real quick. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You know, we should totally like try to see if he could be a guest on the show. That'd yeah, be really cool. he's he's he kind of a big wig now, but. Uh, oh yeah, he might not. He might be too cool for us. Like, Scrubs <laughs> <laughs> with your tiny little podcast. Yeah, right. But that, that would, would be really cool. That though. would be amazing. Because he's local, right? Does he live here? Austin. Austin. I think he wow. Is. He used to. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really he's a super cool. cool guy too. Super friendly. Anyways, um, so what else you got, Britt? Before we head on the news, anything cool on there? Anything in your in your list of oh things? Yes, super cool. Oh well, no. You know, I'm a huge Disney fan, as if you can tell. Like, I'm an artist, so. It comes with the territory. You can't be an artist and, and hate Disney. Like, it's just, like, that's blasphemous. So, if you are, that's blasphemous. That's point. Um, but, yeah. So, I you have to admire Disney. Even if you don't, if you're not the biggest fan, you have to admire what Walt Disney accomplished, I think. Um, so, as an artist and as a businessman. So, um, But today, in 1953, Peter Pan was released in the UK. And I think that's really cool because Peter Pan is great. I disagree. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> That's okay. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember if I liked Peter Pan or not, and I can't remember Peter much about Pan that movie. Peter Pan is fantastic. Actually. Like, there's mermaids in it, which is fantastic. He has cute pointy ears. There's fairies in it. Tinkerbell is great. And there's pirates. Like, what can you not like about Peter Pan? Peter Pan is perfect. And the ride. That's actually one of my favorites at Disneyland. Peter Pan is pretty perfect. Yeah. Cool. I'm not going to even try to say that. <laughs> really fast. But I love the Peter Pan ride. I hate it's to say so it, but great. when I think Pan now, I think of Hook. I Hook really is do. fantastic. Hook was awesome. Yeah. And by awesome, I mean Hook was horrible, but it was really good, though. Hook was one of those movies, if you have the, the Robin Williams one, where he's like an adult Peter Pan, and he goes back, and it's got What's-Your-Face, who plays Professor McGonagall and Harry Potter, and also playing a much uh, older woman like 20 years before she was McGonagall, so that was kind of weird. Gosh, yeah. I can't remember her name. Ooh. British I feel lady. really bad because I really dig Harry Potter. Magical um, British lady. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't remember her name. Amazing character actor, British lady. Just here. 
That's her name. Cool. Anyways, <laughs> so that's cool. Um, moving right on from Peter Pan because, you know, anyways. <laughs> and the novel is fantastic. If you haven't read the novel, you need to. It's a classic. I Jam Berries. I have not. Oh, it's really good. It's full of whimsical and adventure whimsicalness and, and sword fighting whimsical and boxing is what you look like <laughs> Peter Pan is kind of a butt but it's really <laughs> yeah that much is true he is kind of like a little brat but but really cool it's full of fun hmm. anyway okay, fan fabulous <laughs> Right. Well, we are about to take a break, but before we do, we do have a usual question we ask once a month. Um, since only two of us is kind of weird, but hey, Brittany, mm-hmm. if you could have any yes. Disney franchise turned into a game that wasn't already, which means we might be wrong, because I'm sure every Disney thing in the universe has a game, what would it be? Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard. I really love, I know this is like super cliche, but I'm, I love, the, I mean, look what I'm wearing. I'm. You know, I'm kind of a it's nightmare before I'm Christmas. I'm a creepy girl. There, so. there was a really good Nightmare Before Christmas game actually on PS2. Yes, Lucky's Revenge. Yes, yeah. I, I actually really, and I like the one for that came out for the Game Boy Advance as well. Hmm. There were actually really good Nightmare Before Christmas ones games. There was um, the one for the PS2, I believe, was basically like a Devil May Cry like, clone, well, yeah. and I love Devil May yeah. Cry. And it was kind of like a sequel to the movie too. So, That's so good. yeah, it was really yeah. cool. Uh, so I like. Which those, we'll talk about but, on a later show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I have to say, um, I would love, love a Haunted Mansion game. That would be so cool. I Starring love the Eddie Haunted Murphy. Mansion. No. It was... <laughs> no. <laughs> but I love the Haunted Mansion. It's... Gosh, it's, it's haunted probably my favorite mansion? ride. Ooh, I really love the Pirates ride, though. But I Haunted Mansion all the way. Like, I felt like I was... Can I, I just, walked in, and I was like, I'm home. I want to live here forever. You know, I'm a creepy person. Can so. I just talk about how not ridey <laughs> almost every ride... No, they're perfect. Disneyland is? No, they're super like, fun. Like, Space Mountain is kind of cool. Uh, not Space Mountain. Yeah, Thunder Mountain's okay. Um, no, they're great. I don't... Haunted Mansion... It's not really a it's ride. It's perfect. It's like you get in thing and you go yes. through place and be like, oh, look, animatronics are awesome. Oh, look, people dancing in the ballroom. And that's well, great. Well, you have to think about when the ride was made. It was such an achievement. Like, even now, like, when I was going through, and I've been on it twice because uh, I've only been to Disneyland twice. Actually, no, I've been on it, like, four times because we went multiple times. But um, I was in tears, like, when we got to that. Because you were so scared. No, because oh. I loved it so much. <laughs> Again, I'm a creepy girl. But we, when we were going through, like, the ghosts dancing in the dining room, I was like, oh, my, this is so perfect. Like, I, <laughs> I need to stay here and live here forever. It was just so wonderful. And I was like, wow. I know a lot about, like, you know, special effects and, and art and puppetry and stuff like that. And I was like, how did they do that? Like, for a second, you know, I had to think about it. Um, and I think I even had to ask you, like, how was that done? That's really cool. And for the time period, you know, when that ride came about, that was amazing. Yeah. It was even really now cool. it's amazing. It looks real. It was really we cool how Disney ghosts. managed to trap the spirits They hired the real and ghosts. Keep them in there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, Disney was actually a necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, you know, he, he's frozen, so. He actually lives in the middle of the Matterhorn, just like Disney, like, right. floating there. Just Disney's He's dead. a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the red thing and the little, little, like the little blue pointy wizard hat and his brooms Mickey. going around. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Actually, a nod like, to his based wizardry. on fact. Yeah, there you go. Yep. <laughs> I would believe that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Evil space Disney just floating. Anyway, sorry. But yes, I would love. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, Brittany. I would love a haunted mansion game. That would be super cool, and I think they could really make that work. And I would love an old, an older style. You know, kind of like a, a Sega Genesis or, or SNES style. I think that yeah, would be really cool. That would be lovely. And I know that it's not Disney technically, but Disney publishes them. So I would like to see like a Ghibli uh, game. And, and not Nino Cooney. Like I know Nino Cooney is a thing. But um, like a Kiki's Delivery Service. That would be really cool. <laughs> and I know that's not really, but they publish it. It's under their name here in the States, so. It's under the umbrella of the mouse. Yes. <laughs> the, the, what would you call it? The, 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 the mouse dominion. Yes, there you go. indeed. So the I kingdom. thought about this anyway. really hard, and I, for the longest time, could not think of anything, because just about every Disney movie I can think of that would make sense has had a game. 
And I was thinking, well, my favorite That's Disney true. movie is Mary Poppins, but that would be an awful game. So. <laughs> you don't know that. Like, that could be really cool. You could do different stages like awesome, that. Awesome, like, cyberpunk Mary Poppins, where Poppins is, like, a cyborg, and she has to, like, go, like, what? beat up rogue alien chimney sweeps. Yeah! And you're mad about whatever's coming out. What? Like, but you're really uh, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean, what's, what, what's coming out? <laughs> They're not making a sequel to Mary Poppins. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it a about. sequel or is it a reboot? It's a sequel. Mary Poppins returns. She uh, comes back and it's the kid. I will watch um, it. It's the kid from the first one who's grown up and his wife has died. So he's sad and the family's sad. So she comes to cheer them up. Oh. <sighs> That's sad. It, yes. And it shouldn't exist. I will watch it though. It doesn't exist. That actually it's not sounds... happening. I think it sounds pretty It can easy. still get canceled. I don't know. It's I, not too late. I will give it a I will give it a shot. I will give it a shot. Oh god. Anyways, whatever. Um so I thought really hard and I finally came up with one. I don't think I think no, I, in fact I know there's a Wally game, but it's horrible. Oh yeah, there is a Wally game. One of my favorite uh, Disney movies was Wally. Um I'll let you guess why. Um That's a really it's good Definitely one. not the robots, but I was thinking <laughs> a Wally game that would be like a 2D almost it's combining my two favorite things, like a Metroidvania Wally game. We went on and like Ooh. grabbed like Twinkie power ups and stuff and everything. And <gasps> yes, that would work so well. <laughs> that would be so awesome. That would be really awesome. That's kind of a I cheat agree. there. I'm sorry, but I don't care. Robots are good, so fine. There's or, nothing else that like isn't a game that well, you could think of. What if like in the distant future, Mickey piloted giant robots to save the earth? Oh, God. and it was like a VR game. Anyway, <laughs> I can go on forever on this one. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So we are going to take a wee little break, and I'm going to find my hat, and uh, then we'll be right back. Hey. Hey everyone, Matt here, and has this ever happened to you? You're in your local Game Over looking for a specific game, and <gasps> they don't have it. Not to worry, friends. GameOverVideoGames.com has got your back. Just go to our website, and chances are we'll have what you need. But Matt, I don't want to pay any shipping fees. <laughs> How did you get into my house? Not to worry, random lady. Just select the pickup and store option and we'll send it to the Game Over store of your choice within 30 days at no extra cost to you. So hop on today and check it out. GameOverVideoGames.com. Making retro gaming easier with the power of the internet. Why is he, why is he butt? He's, his butt. <laughs> why? I'm just trying to get him evenly cooked. That's Dumbo all butt. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Overcast. And Dumbo Butt. Dumbo Butt. <laughs> You're right. welcome. I just wanted to give him, you know, full exposure. <laughs> no? Um, what about what about if we give Dumbo a little hat? That's the price tag. There you go. Actually, that, that kind of, okay, it fits you better than me, bro. That All could right. work. Welcome back, everybody. Um, now, on the show where we talk about video games, we are now at this point going to talk about video games. Yes. <gasps> You know what I didn't say? What? Oh, I just thought of it. I'm so sorry. I know this was like 10 years ago. Maybe not. Never mind. A Corpse Bride game. That wasn't even a Disney movie. Yes, it was. It was? Yes. Really? Yeah, I think. Nope. Yes, it was. Really? I know it just looked like a cheesy Nightmare Before well, Christmas it's... ripoff, but was it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I'm about to look it up. <sighs> I don't... <laughs> but yes. Hold on. Let me look. I'm curious now, too. I know. I have to find out. Wait. Oh, see, I thought it was DreamWorks, wasn't it? No. No? Okay, well. Isn't, like, Tim Burton under contract with them or no, something? No. Like, he this... just makes creepy Even things Alice for everybody. Even Wonderland is a, right? We don't need to talk about that horrible thing either. Anyways. Um, okay, well, if you look at that, I'm going I'm to go check. ahead and move I on here. I have to know. Okay, I'm sorry. So we are going to start kind of just in the order that we played stuff in by console. So we'll start with NES because it's the oldest. And we're just going to work our way through and talk about games that we played, if we liked them, if we didn't like them, why... Any kind of fun little facts, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Since Britt's still taking forever to find out whether Corpse Bride was a Disney movie or not. I don't... Just give me your phone. <laughs> Talk to the people about video games. Hello, video games. We're trying to figure out of uh, Corpse Bride. Okay, no. Mermaid, uh, no. Mermaid. no, I don't want to. Little Mermaid. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Do it. She's a tail, and she swishes, and... Throws things. No, it's Warner Brothers. And then oh, it's Vaughn Brothers. Oh man, I was wrong. I thought so. I was really surprised because I was expecting. Does it, it makes up that awful most of the time? Does it? Oh, I love Corpse Bride. I don't, and That's a lot of people okay. didn't. I'm pretty sure it bombed. No, it was, but it was really good. Like if you have taste. Okay. If you have, <laughs> if you have the taste. Okay, so Little Mermaid, yes. made by Capcom. I want to say, what was it, 1991, I think it came out? The infamous Capcom. Yeah, you're going to notice that Capcom made, like, 
all of the Disney for NES and for a decent chunk of SNES also. A lot of them, yeah. Capcom, but see, Capcom in the 80s and 90s was good. Capcom made complete games back then, and Capcom didn't like include on disc DLC you had to pay what for a hater. later. This guy over here. Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, like, eh, I don't know. I've noticed it's kind of said a lot of Japanese companies like Capcom and then even worse than them, Konami, which doesn't actually make video games anymore, but they won't let other people make video games with their properties either. So whatever. Eh. But whatever. So Capcom was whatever they are now. They were definitely amazing back in the 80, late 80s, early 90s. Mm-hmm. Um, a great example of that is Little Mermaid. Darn good game. Yeah, it's a really good game. It is really hard. That's another thing. <laughs> Most of these games are really hard. I'm like, these games are for children? <laughs> like, what? And then what's funny, though, is I remember playing some of these games as a kid, and it's been a, you know many years, oh, but yeah. um, I don't remember them being that hard. One of the great parts about, getting, about getting older is everyone has that moment where... It feels like all the games speed up, but it's actually you that's slowing down, my friend. It's happened to me. It's apparently happened to her now. It will happen to you. No, I have a theory on that. I have a theory. So I feel like it's what they call denial. No stages of grief. Maybe. maybe. (laughs) I feel like games are a lot easier now because they're more in depth. So you have. You know, there's there's more to them. You have time for tutorials. Yeah. You have, you know, the controls are better. Like, I mean, some of my favorite games are still older games, but we've evolved. So I feel like that's why uh, they're not as hard anymore. No, and they don't have to be because back in the day, you only had enough space on the cart for like eight levels, mm-hmm. and it had to be really, really hard. Yeah, so it would last you. But that's something to explain why you've gotten worse at the hard game you've already played, though. That just means you've gotten old. It's, I've just gotten soft. I think that's what see, it is. That's I, bargaining. <laughs> that's another one of the stages of grief. <laughs> we're going to get to acceptance by the end of this show. You'll see it's great. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, we're not used to those. Well, I mean. Well, it's no, all falling apart, fair. isn't it? Yeah, it's all kind of. coming down around you. Because I still we still play older games. All the time. So I feel, I don't know. It's just hard. Okay. It's just hard. To be fair, though, <laughs> Disney games for the older systems were specifically quite difficult. Yeah. Not, not necessarily the hardest, but some were pretty darn rough. Like Little Mermaid was cool because it was kind of it was like it's qualified as an action game, but it's it's almost like a platformer, but you're swimming, so there isn't really any platforming. And it has, at least to me, maybe I'm wrong here, but it gives me almost kind of like a shoot 'em up aspect where you go around and you collect power ups, and as Ariel, you can kind of like swish your tail. I can't like it hurt my, <laughs> my, my back hurts. I can't do that even when my back doesn't hurt. Um, you can like flip your tail and shoot bubbles at enemies, and then mm-hmm. you can bubble them, and you can throw them at stuff. It's really cool Capcom mechanics. Um, but you can unlock these chests and get power ups, so you can bubble things faster, or they things they stay bubbled longer. But if you die, you lose all those power ups. So just like if you're playing like Raiden, and you mm-hmm. get all the way to the end with your big powerful blue laser, you get hit. You don't recover your powers. You're screwed. <laughs> That's kind of the way it is in Little Mermaid too, where you've got to have that good rundown, and if you don't, it's much more difficult to recover from then on. I yeah, think, I anyways. Mean. But darn solid game. Ursula is, is a pain in the butt. Um, I've never beaten that game. I got all the way to Ursula a couple of times and just went, nope. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> I've got to go to bed and then i got to go to work. Nope. Because I didn't I didn't have an NES when I was a kid. So this I played it recently within the past couple of years. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I don't think you got past, like, level three before no. you gave up. But <laughs> I really enjoy it, but it's really hard. <laughs> fish are mean. They're supposed to be your friends. <laughs> They're not your friends. (laughs) They eat you. But, you know, I really appreciate that. Like, versus uh, some of the newer, you can, like, there's some DS games out there that, you know, it's with Disney princesses, but you just dress them up or, you know, stuff like that. It's not really, like, levels or anything. What's wrong with the guy? uh, Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I want to be pretty sometimes, too. Yeah, well, heck yeah. But I just like how those games, you know, were challenging. But this guy, okay. This guy told me, and I was so mad. But he actually, we were talking about games. We got into a conversation about games. I met him at a con or something. And he was like, yeah, platformers and those games or whatever, those are for girls. And I'm like, what? How dare you? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'd like to see you, Call of Dude Bro, try to play those games. <laughs> Call of Dude I bet, Bro. I bet that dude. This is an 
for, I haven't said this for at least an hour. Unbiased show. We call it as we see it, okay? Oh, as we see it. But all I'm saying There is nothing is wrong with Call of Duty at th- all. There is not. I play Call of Duty. But okay. don't be judgmental about other games, especially if you're going to be I'm sexist saying. about For the love of God, you poor, uninformed fool. Exactly. Like, I, I was just like, dude, that's wrong. I mean, I. I was trying to be funny. It's like you're saying Mario is for girls. I want to clarify that. I mean, it is, but it's also for guys because games are not specific. Whatever. We're not going to get too deep into that conversation because it's just swat with futility. Yeah. I play Call of Duty with my brothers, so I have nothing against Call of Duty. It's fun. I love the the zombies. The Nazi zombies in the new one looks really good. But um, I was like, that's really unfair. But I David Tennant. Sorry, I'm I'm going to. But I have this theory that he's just bad at platformers, and that's why he felt like. (laughs) That's usually what it is. He was trying to. This game is stupid. You know, he said it in the wrong way. Way, but he was just trying really hard but I would like to see some people play I bet half everybody could not be oh I hit my ears could half not be everybody. Little Mermaid yeah it's really so hard. not anyway, you okay. but you you you're good you not everybody <laughs> could beat Little Mermaid or any of these games on this list I couldn't beat Little Mermaid it's really hard <laughs> it's okay. okay anyway alright moving on down the line 1989 DuckTales <laughs> also made by Capcom <laughs> That's the Sega jingle. I don't know why I said Capcom. Oh. Capcom's like that. <laughs> it sounds like that, but not bad. <laughs> so DuckTales. This, in my opinion, one of the best NES games in existence. DuckTales is good. Um, great platformer. Great puzzles. Great music. You know, mm-hmm. it's got the original DuckTales theme. The music theme, is really good. But just the, the original music for the game Oh, I mean, everyone knows the Transylvania theme and the moon music, and it just is. You have like the Amazon music, so good. It's all so good. And I really want to know who came up with the attacks for that game. Because you have this old duck, okay? I don't know how old Scrooge is, but he's old. He's old. That's all we this know. old Scottish duck. And well, the designer, like, I, want to, I imagine this meeting of a bunch of Japanese guys sitting around a table going, So what's he do? Does he, like, throw money at you? No, Scrooge would never throw money at people. Does he, like, shine, <laughs> like, monocle lasers? No, no. He bounces on his cane like a pogo stick. But that makes sense. That's a logical conclusion. In what universe? <laughs> well, he wouldn't. Well, you just said it. He wouldn't throw money at you. You're right. He wouldn't. He and uh, He's an old duck, so he has a cane. So that would make sense. But he's an old duck. I don't and think he old probably ducks can't, bounce. He probably can't get around really fast. So he was like, I'm going to enchant this thing or whatever he does. Or magic it. He, he called so the that, dark wizard Disney to yes. enchant his cane. Sorcerer Mickey gave him this cane. <laughs> and he's like, bouncy. I move faster. There you go. I'll buy that. Thank because you. it's a beautiful mechanic. <laughs> I don't think I ever, when I play the game, I think I rarely actually walk anywhere. It's all just... And you can just chain through I am enemies. terrible at that. But when I found out that you could like constantly bounce, I'm like, all right, I'm good. I'm just going through the entire game like this. <laughs> uh, it's really good. And it's, it's, of course, very, very hard. But it's not nearly as hard as a Little Mermaid. Like, you can get through yeah. the first level or two. With, once you realize, you, like, you can jump on this guy, but you can't jump on that flower. And you can jump on this ghost, but you have to jump on his ball and chain first. And it, you, you figure it out. But it's just a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, that's one of the ones that you – like, there's a bucket list for games – it's like anything with a gun in a minute, Mario, DuckTales. I'll even put it above Sonic. And I'm a oh, wow. Yeah. And you love Sonic. I do. You love Sonic like Sonic loves chili dogs. That's fair, yeah, right? That's you're fair. Right. You're so right. that's that's huge. That's huge. You're right. <laughs> so moving on, we actually had the, the privilege to play DuckTales too, because uh, I don't own it, but I have a friend who does. Um, for those of you cool. who are wondering, if you don't know, it's um, Ducktales One. It, it is. It's literally <laughs> Ducktales One with like a cool. different map screen. But the reason why I say I had the privilege to play it because Ducktales Two is a very expensive game. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a series of games, uh, Disney games actually, and other games that came out after the end of the NES's life cycle. So when the SNES was released in 1992. There were still games coming out for the NES, you know, most notably games like Little Samson, which is very expensive. Um, so because of that, they were uh, bought less, and now they are harder to find. Mm-hmm. DuckTales 2 being one of them, which is, I forget how many, it's, it's a couple hundred dollars, I think, give or take. But very expensive game. It's the exact same game with different levels, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I agree. Fantastic game. And we were in its presence, which is really cool. I had to touch it. It was great. <laughs> um, and we've seen it a couple of times in here in the store, but I've never had a chance to actually play it before. So it was nice. That's good. Um, and I, actually, the same thing is on this next game here, which is Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Love this show. 
Another Capcom title, right? Capcom just owns. Just yeah, they the have game. the monopoly on. I don't Disney think there games actually is. <laughs> no, there wasn't a Capcom game that we. Uh, or th- sorry, yeah, there game. was. For the NES. Oh no, yeah. not for the NES. No, sorry. there wasn't a Disney game we played for the NES that was not made by Capcom. There may be one, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> In the amount of time we were here, so Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, mm-hmm. not as good as Ducktales, I think. Kind of, I mean, just a straight up platform where you play through the Chipper Dale and you run through the levels. And you pick up crates, and you can throw crates and stuff like that. Um, I've never beaten it. I would assume you fight Fat Cat at the end. Um, there are some cool power ups where, like, if you find Zipper, he's invincible, and or you're invincible, and he goes around and like beats people up. Zipper's a little fly, by the way, if you don't remember. Cool Chippendale fact, though, for the first season of Ducktales, Monterey Jack, you know, the big cheese guy, was voiced by Peter Cullen, also known as Optimus Prime. Okay. Of course, I know that. And now you know. Da 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 da. GI Joe. And knowing is half the battle. But the same thing for Chip and Dale work for DuckTales. Um, Chip and Dale 2, DuckTales 2. I can't speak anymore. Um, Chip and Dale 2 came out in 1993 as well, after the SNES came out. And it's also quite an expensive title. And it's mm-hmm. also the exact same game with different levels. Um, didn't have a chance to play that. I don't think I've seen that one for quite some time. But moving on to, I think this is your favorite one for the NES, am I mistaken? Ooh, for the NES? Yeah, I think so. Mickey's Mouse Mouse Capade. Capade. I really like this one because one of my favorite games is Mylon Secret Castle. I know people are probably screaming at me. Uh, it's got great music. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one on the planet that loves this game, but I love the music. And I played it a ton as a kid. That's why I have a soft spot for it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So good. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna get sued. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, with my awesome impressions, <laughs> that and the Capcom logo score. <laughs> Copyright coming at you. But I really loved it. I don't know what it was. I just loved the. When I was a kid, I was attracted to the cover. The cover was so nothing like the game. Bad. This like As dark. In cool. Ca- the cover was just like a castle with like a lightning bolt. Yeah, it looked like this like gothic castle. There's <laughs> lightning. Can you see a pattern? There's lightning. I was like, this game looks super <laughs> rad. Game, like I have to play this game. Sleeping cap. But I loved it because he was like, a, I don't know what he God. was, but he had like a little hat, like a little link hat. Um, and he was really cute, and he just had these magical bubbles, he and just spat there were these at people. like monsters, like these little critters, and then you fought a wizard and a dragon, and you found keys and shoes, and like that helped you fly. It was really cool. I just imagine you're just I loved it. You're this sleepwalking kid who broke into someone's house, <laughs> killed his pet dragon, and stole his Reebok. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Great game. <laughs> I love it. No. And, but you, it was... and you beat up an old man. <laughs> Aww, he wasn't really a wizard. Uh, he wasn't really yeah. a wizard. <laughs> Here's this old guy with a stick. You must be a wizard. Hits him with chair. <laughs> but it was so fun. <laughs> but it was really fun. And I loved the, I just, I played it for hours at a time as a kid. I loved it. Um, but and I got not really talking about far. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mousecapades anymore. Yeah, but well, the reason why I was bringing it up <laughs> is because it reminds me a lot of this game, which I have a soft spot for. So you're Just Mickey. to cover that. There's yeah. this game, My Lots of Castle. Soft spot. It's fantastic. Right you there. should play it. And try not to stab me if you've never played it and you play it and you think it's really hard. Because it is really hard. I'm warning you now. But, <laughs> yeah, it reminds me a lot. You have, like, these stars. They're not bubbles. I almost call them bubbles. And you throw them at enemies and you collect keys and you find cake, which is really cool. <laughs> The cake is awesome. I knew that was coming. I was yeah. ready for it anyway. I just, li- I don't know. High I just points like it. Like, game. Like, like you- Malantu Castle has cake. <laughs> <laughs> but you have this really adorable pixelated mouse and he's just like catching the cake. It's really great. The little pixelated Mickey is really, really cute. Yes. It's this really bad angular thing. And it's really precious. And he follows him around and she can get stolen and you have to mm-hmm. recover her from the darkness. And I really I like from it. from the darkness. It's but fun. It's yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's just a series of square rooms with ladders and really hard enemies that respawn. And you don't start off with the stars, so for a while there, you're playing it like um. You just have to jump I'm, over enemies. I'm, there's a door that just says the door is telling you key, and it's like it's but you're a door, not a key, but okay, that works, and it's just horrifying. And I think it's really funny. There there are windows, and in in some creeper of the, Mickey. Yes, <laughs> I murder, know talking about <laughs> murder Mickey, as I like to call him. There are these Mickey power-ups, and you can only see him through the crack, and it's like so half like a- of his face, and he's like <laughs> smiling at you, and you're like, oh my gosh, there's murder Mickey there's right a there. demon mouse staring like, at me through the window. Ready to eat my face. But. It's, it's the real Mickey. 
Yeah, she looks much better than weird side He's like, sell me your franchise. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. You're just knocking on Marvel's windows. Girl send murder, Mickey. Hi there. <laughs> God. Oh man! I'm gonna buy Captain America. Hi ho! <laughs> I'm really and bad Star at that. Wars. I'm sorry. And your soul. <laughs> but I must admit, Star Wars got better after Disney bought it. So thank you. It was also thank you, Disney. unable to fall much further. To be completely fair, you can say what you want about the prequels, but if you oh, say they're good, no, you're wrong. Oh no, it could have. It, 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 it could, could have. They could have continued with that. <laughs> okay. And Lucas, anyways, whatever. This is not the Star Wars podcast. That happened yes. last time. Last year. <laughs> I think it did actually. Last December. Did, last was there December. a Star Wars one? Yeah, last December I think we did it. <gasps> I'm jealous. Was I on that one? No, we were in Dallas. I was in Aww. Dallas. I being we. I'm bummed. Oh, yeah, no, because I wrote the outline for that. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so our last NES game, and once again, I'm sure I missed stuff. Please let us know, podcast game or video games, was Tailspin, and you didn't play this. No, I have never played this one. Tailspin, once again, awesome. 90s cartoons were great, dude. You had Goof Troop, you had this, you had uh, DuckTales. Oh, wait, I missed one. Wait, did we not have it on here? We didn't put it on the list. We didn't put it on the list. I remember what it was, though. We'll talk about it in a minute. Anyways, okay. um, it's actually another one of the, if not for DuckTales, would probably be my favorite. Anyways, Tailspin is to shoot him up. You play Baloo, random. You watch Tailspin once or twice, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this random Baloo from the jungle is now a <laughs> pilot in a plane, and he goes flying around with the I don't know. It's a cool show. Whatever. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> it made no sense. It was like, huh, wait a minute. It actually looks a lot like Zootopia now that I think about it. Because think about it. It was all like the jungle Tailspin? creature. Yeah. It was all like the, the jungle creatures now living in a city doing like regular jobs and hmm. stuff. Yeah. Ooh. It's, it's almost like Disney stole yeah. from Disney. <laughs> oh, the <man>. Mouse Dominion. <laughs> what we forgot to put on here was Darkwing Duck. <gasps> oh yeah, duh! It's Mega Man. Once again, yeah. Once again, Capcom. <laughs> it's freaking Mega Man. <laughs> I mean, Which there are other fantastic. games like Ducktales okay has. I swear to God, on the um, I think it was the Transylvania level. Or it could have been the moon level where there are sprite, there are E tank sprites, but they're red and there's no E in them, but they're the same dang sprite. Do you know what I'm talking about? That oh yes, too? yeah. It's an E tank. Mm-hmm. It's just Capcom reusing assets, which is fine. I just thought that was really funny. I'm like, it's an E tank. I need it, and it wouldn't let me pick it up, and I was sad. I was, about, <laughs> I was like pogoing on it for an hour, and it wouldn't work. <laughs> the enemies, what is Scrooge doing? He's beating up that barrel. So Darkwing Duck is Mega Man. Mega Man was slightly better mechanics, I think. Because unlike Mega Man, you can you can grab onto platforms and jump through them like Darkwing Duck could. It was amazing. Stupid hard, just like Mega Man too. <laughs> like oh my, some of the jumps in that game, specifically, I forget which level it was, but the one we have to go fight. Um, it's not Mega Duck. It's Mega Volt. Was it Mega Volt? The, the mouse with the lightning power? No. Mm. I am the terror that flaps, flaps in the, the night. night. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, anyways, whatever. That one. There <laughs> it's were all been these, a while. <laughs> all these hooks on chains you have to jump on, and, and it's really hard to get it just right. And I think I've died more times in that level than any other part in that game. Anyways, so Darkwing Duck, once again, another amazing NES Capcom game. Moving on, because this is gonna we're gonna be here for a long time. Uh, Super Nintendo. So starting off with a very interesting game, Aladdin for the Super Nintendo came out in 1993. Um, so. There was Aladdin was an interesting game where a lot of these games on this list for SNES and Genesis mm. were cross platform, where you, you know like Lion King was on both, Mickey Mania, <laughs> Mickey Mania was on both, Mackie um, <laughs> <Mackie> Mania, <laughs> that's a different game. Um, Aladdin was very interesting in the case where like other games of its time period, not a lot but some, it had a version for multiple consoles and it was made by different studios and it was actually not just different studio porting it but entire different game. There was an Aladdin for the SNES and Aladdin for the Genesis. Mm-hmm. Aladdin for the SNES was made by, wait for it, who was it, Brittany? Was it Capcom? It was Capcom, <laughs> I do believe. Um, and then the Aladdin for the Genesis was made by, I want to say, Virgin Interactive. It's put on the list. Mm-hmm. But there were some key differences to these games. Both games you could pick up apples and throw apples at enemies. But one game, you dispose of enemies by jumping and vaulting over their heads. And in one game, you stab them to death with a sword. I'll let you figure out which was which. Brittany, which one do you think was which? I'm, oh, well, I know. It was the- <laughs> well, Matt, <laughs> since I played it two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, but I've played it I know, before. I know. <laughs> but 
the Sega one is the stabby stabby. Because it's Sega <laughs> and they were edgy. <laughs> right. But you know, I must say, I'm a SNES kid uh, all the way. I, I never owned a Sega Genesis. Um, it, for me, it was always Nintendo. I have a brother that's eight years older than me, so you know his systems were like they they came to me. The hand me down so. party. Yeah, essentially. Or I you know played games with him, but um, I was we we were Nintendo, and then we stopped for a while, and then just went straight to PlayStation to a PlayStation One. So um, yeah, I'm a SNES kid all no the way. No wonder you're never... stuck with that stupid Crash game. Crash like is it fantastic. So it is so good, and the remaster is so good. Okay, My whatever. God, I hate that game. It was. But yeah, not, man, you made me forget what I was gonna say. <laughs> but, okay, oh yeah, I remember. Um, but I think that the Sega version is actually and better. And we're recording this. I cannot believe I actually yes, said that. Yes, Sega wins again. I tease him about nobody cares about Sega. Um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and then no, it's I don't true. know. It's okay. uh, but the Sega version was better. Now I think the SNES version. It could be in my head, but I think it's prettier. I, I think it looks more like I think Aladdin looks more. Realistic. It's more colorful. I think is what it is. Because um, I was gonna say, I think the Genesis version overall looks better, but the animation I think is a little bit better in the SNES version because mm-hmm. it is all platforming and flipping, so it has to be a little bit smoother. Mm-hmm. And it's definitely more, the colors pop a lot more, I think. But I do think the music is better in Genesis version. I know everybody will disagree with me. I think Genesis has great music. Whatever, mm-hmm. leave me alone. I think it's true. Uh, but we'll talk more about Genesis version later. So SNES version was pretty darn cool, super hard, where the whole game you were just really hard. hopping on people's heads and flipping off of them. If you're really good at that game, you can spend most of the game just hopping between bars and people's heads and vaulting all over the place. I am not really good at that game. And I don't think you're really good at that game either. No, not really. <laughs> and with a lot of these games, I feel like it's impossible to dodge some of this stuff. Like, there's no way... <laughs> You are going to get hit. That's the sign of being really bad at the but, game. <laughs> but they make it pretty damn difficult. I, I I will agree. Yes. Even in the first couple levels of that game, it's hard. Those arrow guys, and when you're swinging in, they're like, oh, hi, I was off screen. Ka-thunk. You're dead. Start over. No checkpoints for you. <laughs> but we will get back to Aladdin for Genesis Movie mm-hmm. Genesis. So another really cool SNES game, uh, Goof Troop. Um, once again, really cool TV series. This is another one I haven't played. Really? Yeah. Goof Troop was cool. Um, co-op game. And Ooh. it was a top-down. It's a coop. It's coop, and coop makes everything better. <laughs> it's a coop game. <laughs> I like that. I'm, I'm having difficulty breathing, but I'm also having difficulty placing as a genre. Because it's top-down, and you go around with Goofy and Max, and there are, like, pirates on this island. And there's a puzzle mechanic where you have to kick blocks into certain areas. But you also have to fight things, and you have, like, a grappling gun, and you can, like, throw blocks at enemies and pick things up. And it's just really weird. It, I get, for some reason, um game where you're a shrine maiden and a tanuki. I really like it, and now I'm drawing a complete Oh, blank. it's it's like, it's like a million-dollar game um, with the swish tail, with the right? swish, you're, Yeah, you're a tanuki, and you're a shrine maiden. Gosh darn it. And now I can't remember what the heck it was called. Is it like cookies and something? Or cookie and something? <laughs> no, or... it's not cookie. What? It's not Gosh. Cookie. I know. I'm going to get yelled at for this because I like I this game too. But... Uh, it's not like that at all. I that's it was like, something. That's like, that's, with... like a, that's like a scrolling shoot 'em up where you're on the ground. And this is like a slow moving puzzle action game. I don't know why I have the same vibe from it. Uh, maybe because it's coop. Co-op. Coop. Good Lord. <laughs> um, Wow. That's going to bother me. I keep wanting to call it Ushio and Tora, and that's not it. That's 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 an anime about a guy and a monster. So it's kind of the same thing. You think if I Google raccoon girl, or not a raccoon, it's a Tanuki. Tanuki and Shrine Maiden. Tanuki, Shrine Maiden. Tanuki and Shrine Maiden. It'll pop up. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I want to know. I have to know now. I I can't. I've got Mala and Secret Castle stuck on my head now, too, and I know that's not it. We're going to find out. What's the next one on the list? You go ahead and talk about that. Uh, oh gosh, are you sure? Lion King. You talk all about it because I hate that game. I actually, also made by Capcom, I actually really like Lion King. It is really freaking Pocky hard. and Rocky, oh my I god. I knew it was something to see Cookie and... T- Cookie and Rookie. <laughs> something. And I was like... <laughs> I knew it, Pocky. See, Pocky is a candy. George W. and the Sundance Kid. I freaking knew it was something like that. <laughs> Rookie and Rookie, that's Pop- my favorite. Rookie and Rookie. It's actually such a cool band. Thelma and Louise, <laughs> the SNES game. Off they go. Just uh, keep going. I knew it was something food related. <laughs> that's right. Because like, how is how is Rocky food? Well, Pocky, I guess is. Pocky, yeah. It's a. <laughs> see someone devouring rocks. Like a Japanese so happy. biscuit thing, right? 
it's like a yeah, biscuit. Yeah, it's like the, the stick with the chocolate on it. Yeah. It is. yeah. It's like a... And you just eat them by the million and you don't feel like you ate anything. And they're super awesome. Yeah. Anyway, okay. And you've gained 20 pounds. They have really... Move. Right. They have really thick ones that are like super good. Okay, anyway. Lion King. Super freaking hard. I don't think... I made it very far. This I actually really like it, though. I like the Lion King music. You didn't make it past level um, two, and I don't blame you. Level two is so hard with the giraffes and the monkeys. We have to, like, bounce between them and stuff. And I made it past level two in the past. I couldn't when we were preparing for this show, though. <laughs> I will say that the animation is really pretty. It is. And there are strange exploding stag beetles. And I like when Simba is like, rawr. It's really cute. <laughs> it's really cute. I really like that. But yeah. It's so cheese. So super hard game. A lot of people really like it. I just it is so hard. <laughs> it is so hard. Made by Westwood Studios, though, which is awesome because Westwood was the bomb before EA destroyed them. Do you know who Westwood was, Brittany? Oh yeah, they did uh this really small title. You've might have heard of it, uh Command and Conquer. No, I've never heard about that. What what's yeah, Command what and Conquer about? Command and Conquer. Mm-hmm. All I know is Udo Kier. That was Red Alert too. Oh, okay. Is it finished, Yuri? No, come up me. It has only begun. <laughs> He's the bomb. Commander Conquer's yeah. awesome, by the way. <laughs> you, you you know what it is. You don't. You're that fifty percent over there. But you do. So it's RTS. Um, I'm really what? not huge into RTSs, so I haven't like played it that much. But. Look, clicky clicky. Mm-hmm. Anyways, you play RTSs with a controller. There's something deeply wrong with you, Halo <laughs> Wars fans. I'm looking at you. I don't know how you do it. You're better people than I am. <laughs> I need keys and cursors, but no. So moving right along, we have the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. This game sucks. (laughs) Oh, actually, I have it in the notes here. Matt thinks this game sucks. Yeah. Because I do. (laughs) I have to say it's probably my least favorite. It's really hard. And then there's like these really cute bees. Do you want to describe what the game is first? Are they bees? Sort of. They're they're like like, little... They're, they're like beetle Lady things, cute bugs, Disney like beetles. Like ladybugs or something. I don't know what they are, but. They kick your butt. But they're really they're cute, are. and you're like, oh, maybe I can, you know, be friends. No. They will kill you, and they will rip your heart out and eat it for dinner. And it's smile terrible. the whole time. Yeah, like, and you're like, they're, they're so cute. Why? But, yeah, it's so, really hard. So gameplay, it's Mickey. You are in a magical world, and Pluto's been stolen by the evil Emperor Pete. And it's pretty traditional platformer, except Mickey has this, what I call a voila attack, Mm -hmm. where it's the same animation, whether he's like throwing berries or blocks or opening doors, he'll go, whew, like this with it. He's like, da-da-da-da, and then he falls into a pit and dies. (laughs) But I just couldn't get into it. The controls felt really bubbly, not bubbly, like floaty. So it was very difficult to platform through things and stuff and... Tried really hard, but there's a couple of games on this list where it's just like, mm. I don't know what it was about that one, but I just it didn't it just click didn't with click. me. No. I didn't and like because there were other we, you were playing a bunch of them also, so there yeah. there there are better Disney games with Mickey out there, which we for will sure. mention, which both happen to be for the Sega Genesis, by the way. <laughs> um, so there, I mean, even next on the list here, I think was what's better. Um, we're just gonna move right along. Mickey Mania. This game was on everything. It was on SNES, Genesis, Sega CD. It was all over the place. Awesome game. Super cool. Um, I really cool. love this one. It was really fun. Just the visuals were really good. Yeah, the visuals are really cool. Even if the game was terrible, the visuals were good. But it's it not. It wasn't terrible. It's not. I said even if it was. Mm. It's not, though. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Yeah. Every level you go through like a different key period of Mickey. So the first level is obviously Steamboat Willie. The second level so... is the, um, I forget the name of the cartoon, but it's the one where Pluto gets stolen it's like kidnapped by the evil professor and you go through the haunted castle and they throw in the really cool spooky scary skeletons in there there's a level oh yeah oh yeah that one's really cool there's a level for when mickey was the conductor for an orchestra and they got blown away by a tornado there's a prince and the pauper level i think there's a, obviously a, a the mickey and the beanstalk level it's just the themes kind of make that game and it's the like different a couple of the later phases games yeah of mickey which is really the game cool itself is good it's not anything fantastic but it really is about going through the world mm. and it was a later game i think it was 94 i think it came out um something like that down the line i don't think we actually put it in here in the notes but yeah 94 so it was definitely later in the life cycle mm. so it definitely took the most advantage that was possible of the systems especially for sega cd it looked really good it was a really it beautiful really game good. yeah um so it's just a fantastic game it just really took that cartoony level to to the next level. Yes. The art style was freaking phenomenal. I love like that old like silly symphony, uh, Steamboat Willie kind of style. A lot of my art is inspired by that, like the way the the blush and cheeks. Cuphead. And, 
and Cuphead, I'm so excited, and the way I draw eyes and you know stuff like that. So um, I love it. So, so yeah, good. Dawn, good so game. Good. Look it up. It was on pretty much everything back in the day. Um, so find a copy. It's good. What else we got on here? We have, ooh, we're moving on to the Genesis now. So now we're in Matt territory. This was easy because almost every single one of these games I already owned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just go to my wall of Genesis games. It's like, yep, cool. So once again, back to Aladdin, made by Virgin Interactive, I was right. Came out in 1993, by the way, was the year of the mouse game. Apparently, game. yeah. So many of these games came out in 93. I mean, there was ones before that, but I, I want to say a good third of the ones on the list. Yeah. 93 was a darn good year for gaming, bros. Absolutely. Uh, it was the year of the mouse. <laughs> every That's year it. is the year of the mouse now. Right, I know. <laughs> It's a word. Mouse Dominion. Sell him your franchise. It's like evil, like blood red <laughs> words flashing. Mouse Dominion. Subscribe to the mouse streaming service today. Scary. We have but, like subliminal messaging. Sell us your franchise. Sell us your, <laughs> Mickey coming through the window. Hi there. <laughs> I like retro video games. No, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic though. Yes. <laughs> so Aladdin for the Genesis. We kind of already talked about it where... You go through the game, you play Aladdin, for, so what I hear, most of the time what? anyways, and you stab things to death with a sword, in a very Genesis sense. This is the sword one. This this is the sword, sword one. Sword. Surprise, spoilers! Um, great game, though. Really hard. One of mm-hmm. my... There's a... Fly, or a thing, yeah. It's okay. Sorry. Bug. Anyways. <laughs> one of my uh, more game rage memories is the... Uh, the second Cave of Wonders level where you're running after the whole like Invergal thing and you're like running away. And then you have to, it is the one where you get on the carpet too, like towards the end. That's and af- you're like if riding you sur- through. If you survive that, yeah. That's a really hard level. I dare say that is harder than that Battletoads. Turbo Tunnel? Yes. I wouldn't go quite that far. I think it is. Just because Turbo Tunnel, tur- 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 Turtle Tunnel. <laughs> it's a secret hidden level. <laughs> um, you actually ride on Donatello the whole time there. Um, <laughs> Turbo Tunnel, I think, is just longer and it requires just hard memorization. Well, Cave mm-hmm. of Wonders, I, I want to say if you get it right and you're not playing on an LCD with a really bad delay, which I'm going to talk about here, um, it's it's super hard, but I think it's much more doable if you get it down quicker. Because um, I, for, for a while there, when I used to play the game as a young and I was really good at it, I could go through it in one or two tries. Oh, wow. Turbo Tunnel, I still can't do. <laughs> I can get, You never got through that? Nope. I can get, ever? R- ever. Oh, wow. I've gotten really, really close. That surprises me. Um never gotten through it i've tried i've tried multiple times hmm. i've either just said screw it and given up or just run out of time is really what it is but i'm not afraid to admit it sorry i, I suck <laughs> it's okay i've beaten the rest of the game i've done i've done passwords or cheats to get past that level and beaten the rest <laughs> of the game but it's just like nope can't do it i don't know why but it's just bad even when the couple years back at cgf where we had the turbo tunnel competition mm-hmm. of like the 11 people that beat it out of like the thousand i was not one of them <laughs> Yeah, that was really that was really fun. It was just like a, it was a slaughter, man. Yeah. <laughs> I felt much better about myself because one percent of the people there that tried it could beat it. That was it. So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm okay. Mm-hmm. I don't mind. No problem. So Aladdin, super hard. Also, one of the few games that I will gripe about playing on a flat screen with because input lag on that level for some reason just that level really pissed me off. Once again, it could be that I've gotten slower and the games haven't actually gotten faster, but I couldn't beat that level when we were preparing for the show and I was quite upset and I made some inappropriate faces like this. It just wasn't <laughs> good. But moving on to two of the best pieces of digital media in the history of digital media as we know it and oh, probably gosh. until the end of time. Allow Games me just take, two of the best pieces of crap. <laughs> take my hat up in reverence of... The gold, platinum, jewel-encrusted uh. wonders of the modern age that is Beauty and the Beast, Bell's Quest, and Roar of the Beast, Beast's Roar, yeah. Blarg, I am the Beast. Yeah. So why don't you tell them all about it, Britt? Those games are pretty bad. <laughs> and, I, and I'm super easy to please. Like, I'm just like, I can... I mean, if you've been listening to the podcast a while and you've watched the episodes that I'm on, I'm pretty positive and I can see the best in everything and I enjoy pretty much everything if I can have a little bit of fun. These were not a little bit of fun. <laughs> they were they were special. Um, yeah. Gaston was super annoying. But I like the little, like, quips, you know, and like the little... So I made a point. I was around while she played this game. I wasn't around for yeah. all of them, but I said, you know, I'm going to watch you play these two games because typical positive Brittany goes 
it can't be that bad. You're just being, you're over exaggerating and being overly negative. Which I like I Snarky am, Bell. And Snarky I do. Bell was really fun. But so we're playing it, and in Bell's Quest, you start off with this kind of thing where you have to walk around the town, and you have to let Gaston come up and like stalk you multiple times. It's like, leave her alone. And then you have to go out into some of the worst platforming I've ever seen, where Bell has, she can walk, she can do kind of like. like Punches things, right? Does she like no? No, she has a she, she has like a crouch slapped. button that you can't hold. You don't hold. How how would you crouch in a game? You hit down. You hit down. You don't hit A to go. Uh oh. Uh oh no no you don't do that. Bad game design. <laughs> Atrociously bad game design. Uh, and then if I recall, you can't even hold it. Like if you hold A, she goes uh oh for a bit and then gets back up again. Because Bell has a bad back and can't bend over for more than ten seconds. It but, was it was rough, but I don't. Huh, there was a lot of backtracking because you had to like go through the town and you like trying to run from Gaston, and then you get into like this wooded area and there's a boulder and you're like, oh well, I guess I have to go back and actually talk to Gaston. I'm like, really? I just left that place, but it's fine. I hate this guy. No, and then. <laughs> I kept falling into the lake. With the evil turtles. Do you remember that? Or like a little river? Yeah. And I was trying so hard, but she would, I was pressing jump, and it was like, boing. Her wonderful, like, like boing. It would not, jump thing. yeah. The, the yeah. controls were just not intuitive at all. It was not all. fun. No. Yeah, so. So I'm sorry if, to, you, if Bell's Quest is your favorite. Let's move on to Roar of the Beast. If Bell's yeah. Quest was your favorite, I really want to hear from you. Please <laughs> email me. <laughs> I, I Not at all joking. You were. We all like games that other people think are really, really bad. If you actually really like Bell's Quest or oh, Roar like, of the I, Beast. I like a lot of crap. Please <laughs> email us at podcastingvideogames.com. I want to meet you. I want to interview you. That's really messed up. Not to make fun of you. I'm no. just I'm genuinely curious what kind of person you are. Wow, that doesn't sound hostile. And, and how many times you were dropped. No, no, no. no. God. <laughs> no, re- really, though, like I've never met anyone who even kind of liked Bell's Quest. But then again, I've never gotten halfway through the game. So if you're actually really good at this, I really want to know. That's awesome. It I, could get better. Like It, it, it might really could, get but much I better. did not want to. After five minutes, I was done. And then with Roar of the Beast, after <laughs> two minutes, I was done. Good. Okay, so Roar of the Beast is it's, it's like really... they, they started off with the decent ideas. Like, we're going to make a game that like the little Disney princess girls are going to like. And we're going to make a game that the the people that like platformers and beat 'em ups are going to like. Both, yeah, uh, just, I guess I, I get they're it, both equally hard. Yeah, yes, but you know, Roar of the Beast reminds me of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Did you ever play that game? Unfortunately, you're like punching rats. I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about like the Genesis NES version. Yes. Okay. And you're like you go through with like Keanu as Reeves. Jonathan Harker. Yeah, yeah, and you're like punching rats or something in the beginning or whipping rats. I don't know. But he in has the like beginning, a, like a swish attack. It's and then Roar of the Beast, I played it and I was like, wow, this is There's rats and bats and identical. snakes. Identical. And... Like you're going through and you're just punching bats and rats. The hitboxes are terribly bad. And it's just really bad. Yeah. Another case of really <laughs> bad controls where, you know, Beast has a left and right, like a swipe attack, which for some reason you can hold. It doesn't actually charge it, but you can hold it for a bit where he does the animation or he just goes beep or he'll do beep. I'm not sure why that's there. Depth. And then you can crouch and do like the beast, like angry animal walk. Why you'd ever stand up and have a larger yes, hitbox, I don't know. Uh, but the annoying thing is like you, it's hard because it's really slow to respond to like stand up and crouch. And then they mix up the enemies. So like bats will come and you're like, oh, I have to punch them. And then you're like, oh, well, there's a rat. And you know, I have to get on the, I think you can punch the rat too. But the snake, you definitely have to get down and crouch. And the snake is the kind that shoots snake blasts at you. And so... And the when a rat really bad. and a snake come at you at the same time, or like a bat and a snake, you are just out of luck, my friend. Yeah. You will get hit. And then it wouldn't be so bad, but and then you will die. Coming back to the hitboxes, <laughs> where I remember I was playing and I was biting a snake, and the snake was like I was like literally just me like I was playing was the game and, then, and then chewing on a snake because it was delicious, and. <laughs> I'm hitting the snake, but apparently his hitbox was this far because I'm sitting there like, why won't you die? And then he spits on me and I die and I put the game away. <laughs> I don't know why I own this game. <laughs> I really don't. Darn you, sick of collecting. And if Roar of the Beast is your favorite game ever, I'm really sorry. I'm not. I mean, <laughs> find something you. that you like in life, <laughs> even if it's Roar of the Beast. It's okay. I will always say I am love to death robot alchemic drive and i'm aware that that game is a festering piece of garbage you know what i really <laughs> like the alice in wonderland game that came out for the wii and that game is crap 
So, and, but I really like it. So I think it's fun. So don't be afraid. It's and okay. So, <laughs> there you go. So moving down the line here, Jungle Book. <gasps> that's a good Darn one. Darn good game, Jungle Book. Yeah, that's Book. a fun one. I like that one. Um, 1993, Virgin Interactive again, same guys who did Aladdin. Um, <laughs> what? Sorry. What? Uh, nothing. Anyways, so uh, action platform where you go around as Mowgli, swinging from vines, climbing stuff. Um, you shoot bananas at people, <laughs> and then you get other weapons. Like you can get boomerangs and more powerful yeah. things like coconuts and stuff. You and know, I, RPGs. That's, <laughs> I was just thinking, so I was kind of giggling to myself. I really like some of the quirky items that they put in Disney games. Yes. Like in Aladdin, the the life is a bearded genie heart. Yeah, the life power ups is, is so a blue cute. heart with a beard. With a beard. It. it looks like it. I feel like that's kind of a strange disease you got there. I'm like, is that Williams? a blue okay? heart with a beard? But yeah, it's really cute. Or Should like, I touch it? <laughs> or cake, or plungers. Yeah, like we're or, gonna make sure the game on here where you, what, yeah. you have plungers and you shoot bubble gum. Anything. They have that a lot of quirky items. Would be a real weapon, except yeah. for just the straight up sword in Aladdin. There, oh, there's yeah. not much. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, it's a cartoon sword. <laughs> Those are cartoon entrails. <laughs> no, but other than that, <laughs> but it's like Aladdin jumping on people. It's, there's lots of like quirky apples. ideas. Yeah, like yeah. throwing apples at people. Or bananas, or coconuts, or weird jungle RPGs. You know, <laughs> Mowgli with his jungle mech going through the woods. You remember that level, right? Where Mowgli had like a gigantic like tree beard robot with laser cannons, and he just like incinerated Shere Khan. Oh wow! I remember that level. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! But great game. Um, moving right along to I forget the name of the studio that made this one. Uh, Goofy's Hysterical History Tour. Um, I like this game. Did you ever play this game? No. It was fun. So what did you do? You, as Goofy, I think you were dreaming or just Goofy being Goofy. You Every level was like goofy. a different time period. So it was like the Old West and like cavemen and stuff. He's very adventurous, this Goofy. Yep, he is. He's, 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 a, he's a real go-getter. <laughs> but you went through these levels with like an extendo hand. And you went and you like flicked things with your, do you, do you want to be like extendo hand? Like, do you ever play Bionic Commando? No. Where you went around and you had this bionic commando arm, <laughs> and it like would shoot out on a on a cable. Oh, I know what you're talking it's about. It's like that. They re- they remade that game, didn't they? Regrettably, for like the it was 3? a piece of garbage. Ah, yeah, I know what you're um, talking about. But it's like that. But it's it's almost like yeah, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Remember Erecto sets, the the metal things you, that was like in Sandlot, like this. It was like Legos but with metal. It was like that, but it was like a thing that stretches like this, and there's lots of them. And it doesn't matter. It was a, it was a, it was a, a creepy glove Disney hand on a thing, and Goofy went like this, and it <laughs> shot out and flicked mushrooms in the face. Okay, <laughs> but then it had okay, um, like Bionic Commando things where there were parts where you could jump and then latch onto it, almost like Samus's energy beam from uh, Smash, where you could latch on and then swing with it and everything. Hmm. It was a really cool game. It's actually probably horrible now I think about it because the frame rate was terrible, but I had a long fun with it. He had an extendo hand. <laughs> I'm just going to – picture of the extendo hand, okay? You get it? You got it? Good. You can't see it, but it's right here. <laughs> okay? It's right here. Darn it. Funny thing of note, by the way, for Jungle Book that I forgot to add on here, mm-hmm. it was one of my first games. Really? Um, when I received – I was eight, and for my birthday, I got a Sega Genesis, Aww. and it had – not Sonic, mind you – Jungle Book and Robocop versus Terminator. Oh wow! Guess which I game game I played more of. That's actually another really cool case where, like Aladdin, where Robocop versus Terminator was made by two different studios, mm-hmm. and the SNES version was an absolute piece of garbage. But the uh, SNES version, the Genesis version, was fantastic, super gorgeous. Is that your bias talking? No, it's actually it? really good, and the <laughs> SNES version is awful. I think once again, but um, but it was really good. But anyways, so those were my first two games, and it was like. And when the mom was in the house, I was like, Jungle Book. And when she left, I was like, Rebecca. <laughs> because if she ever saw how gory that game was, I wouldn't have played it. <laughs> you played the Genesis Robocop Sermon, right? You yeah, should really, like, just yeah. like, fall into pools of blood. And, and isn't st- there like a cheat where you make can make it even, it even worse? bloodier? <laughs> yes. It's, it's so funny. Great. <laughs> but fantastic game. Not a Disney game at all. Sorry. Disney does not own Robocop yet. 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 Sell us your franchise. Sell us your franchise. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, get a 209? Cool. Put mouse ears on it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be super cool, though? You could get, like, at pin traders, you know, you could get, like, a Robocop with, like, mouse no, ears. Like an OCB, OCB pin or whatever That'd on there and everything. That would be super cool. No. I can, I can dig it. No, it would not I be cool. I can dig it. 
I this overlord this mouse just sitting there on a throne. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the president going to be this year? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's coming, man. It's coming real soon. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, so moving down the line here, we have Fantasia. It's not Fantasia. This is you. I wanted so hard to love this game. Like, I wanted so hard. So, on you know, fun fact, on top of being, yeah, I like art and stuff, um, I also write classical music. So, fun fact. Uh, so, I love Fantasia. I have a really soft spot for Fantasia. I loved it as a child. Um, and I wanted so hard to love this game, and I didn't. It was really floaty. Yep. Like, I felt like the the environment was really great. I loved playing the the sorcerer Mickey and then the song with the broomsticks and like or the yeah. so great. Yeah, we're gonna get sued. But <laughs> for, for not being able to carry a tune. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I yeah, but I just I couldn't I couldn't get it, behind it. It was terribly floaty. And, uh, it wasn't intuitive at all. No, like Magical Quest starring Mickey, but worse. And then some enemies you could jump on, some enemies you couldn't. You had like projectiles, but you had like one or two, and that was it. It just—it was one of those cases of the games where I wanted to like it a lot and just mm -hmm. couldn't do it. Yeah. Especially when there were better games out there, which we'll move on to right away. But it's just... Eh. So moving on to other really bad Disney games. The environment is cool. Play it for that. The art is really cool, but the controls... The actual game's pretty crap, there are, there, there are better Disney games, for sure. Yes. There are better Disney games that are better controlled. Yes. So, so this next game is not one of them. Pinocchio. I really like this horrible game. Horrible game. I really like this game. I don't care. Jiminy Cricket, give this game some direction. What's that? You won't because it's a piece of crap? Cool. <gasps> Great. How do you like this game? I Did like it. Did you play it. a different game? No. I just... Really, I really like Pinocchio. I, I've too. never gotten past level two. The first level, it's like, go to school, Pinocchio, have, Mickey. Ho -ho. I just, I really like the characters in Pinocchio. I love Pinocchio. I have a soft spot for Pin another one. I have a soft spot. You for. are just a squishy creature full of soft spots. I know. I specifically remember my mom taking me to the store to buy Pinocchio when I was a child. Um, I just really, and so, so we used to. Every time a Disney movie was released, my parents would buy it for me on VHS, and then that night we would watch it as a family. So what you were admitting here is that with no bearing about how crappy the game is, you like it because of nostalgia. No. Kind of. Well, no, but it's good. I think it's a good game, too. Acceptance. Extra story. I told you we'd get there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we used to do that. We would also watch horror movies. See, this is why I'm like split and I'm like super weird. It's like Pinocchio because and I'm Hellraiser. Like, I'm like, dinner yes, and a movie. I'm like half kawaii and like half creeper. And then you put them together. So Which it's half? Like creeper kawaii. But that's me. Which half? But that's cool. Anyway. Which half? Wait, I... <laughs> like a kawaii elbow or something. <laughs> Inside. And this elbow's Inside. a creeper. It's like, here's your cute hand. Here's your not cute hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. So yeah. I just hated this game. I mean, it had no direction. Like, the first level, you're supposed to go to school, but there's doors. There's doors you could walk through and other that you can't walk through, and they look the same, and they lead you just in circles. And we finished the level, and I finished it. I was like, what? I, cool, I guess I finished the level. Awesome. And then you get to this level with Jiminy I will freaking admit. Cricket yeah. with bugs and maybe I'm an idiot, I could not get off of the stupid light post because you jump off and you die. You go to the, there's nowhere to go. I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? Just be friends with the mantis? Let's say, what's up, bro? Want to play a better game? Great. <laughs> but see, I I liked it. And yeah, sometimes it's like, oh, okay, well, you have to play it for a while to kind of get the hang of it. And I think you have and to kind of get used to, okay, I've been here. Or it does look similar, but you know, I feel like a lot of the stages in Let me ask you every a question. game. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. in front of the audience, mm -hmm. all 12 of them. Okay. Have you ever gotten past level two? So I really feel ha -ha! like... <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. But, <laughs> but one day when I have time, <laughs> I will definitely uh, play it more, but no. Um, but I think we've already established, I have beat Mylon Secret Castle. 
as a kid. And then I played it again. Is that like your one game where it's like, do you remember when we were playing Gears of War? Yeah, but Mylon Sacred Castle. It's not, but I really like that game. I love that game. I played it a lot as a kid. Just buy the game. Just buy it and play it. It's really good. Because no one else likes it. But I think we've already established that I like a lot of games where you have to beat your head against the wall. So Whatever wakes you up in the morning, I suppose. Mylon is one of those. Yes, it is. But you can't remember. What's his face? in the wall. Um, He was um, one of your friends, and he was a regular here and There's i a few of them. talked him into buying my own secret castle and he was like when he saw me then the next time he saw me he was like why <laughs> but i couldn't put it down i had to I finish it that, yeah. but why and i'm like but you loved it that was awesome was that trevor was no, no it was, was it? um robert that's right that was his name his name is robert yeah. <laughs> okay so winding down here only good games are left and that makes me happy so quack shot this game was great. Quackshot, you played really as cool. Donald Duck, the Indiana Jones treasure hunter. Yeah, which is really cool. Um, cool platform. You have a gun that shoots plungers. So it's like, okay, Disney, sure. Um, plungers, and you can shoot popcorn, and later on in the game, you get like a bubblegum shooter and stuff. But it has really cool platforming on one sport where you have plungers, so you can shoot them into the wall and use them as stepping stools for stuff like that. So it's a weapon and a tool. Really cool game. You actually have to, there's a level select, so you can go to Duckburg. I'm like, oh, okay, well, Duckburg's not right. So we, you can choose different areas to go, and then you can go back to them with your new tools. So it has a kind of Metroidvania feeling to it, where there's a lot of backtracking, but it's cool backtracking. Um, typical Disney art style, where there's lots of really, really cool designs. Like, there's just thousands of Pete's everywhere with machine guns trying to kill you. <laughs> It's like an army of Pete's. I don't know how this happens. Some kind of weird Disney cloning thing. The Dominion of the Mouse. But <laughs> awesome game. You know, typical great <laughs> music. Um, we don't, I don't think we talk enough about the music. Some of these games yeah. have amazing music. Oh, yeah, music. fantastic. And, you know, older games had to have amazing music because you're going to play those levels over and over and over All again because you're going to die. the time. So. <laughs> but Quackshot, great game. I loves it. Donald Duck was always my favorite because he's cool. Um, really, really hard. What would you call it? The Sorry. did you, you got as far as the... Uh, the part where you have to like ride the power lines and stuff. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh yes. That was really hard. I really like that because it was kind of fast paced and you're like, oh, gotta jump in time. Sorry. There's a part where you get after you backtrack the first time to Duckburg, you have to go meet Gyro uh, from Ducktales, and you have to ride this little thing, and you go up into the sky on the power lines and you do this weird like ziggy zaggy thing, and it's really tough but really awesome. Um, test your jumping and timing skills. Once again, I'm not as good as I used to be. <laughs> But I've beaten that game, so leave me alone. Um, last two games on here, both Illusion. Yay. We have Castle of Illusion, one of the first ones. Nineteen, I think it was like 1990 or something like this mm-hmm. one came out. Um, fantastic game. Tight mm-hmm. controls, lots of level variety. Um, once again, you're playing as Mickey. It's a side-scroller. You can throw, I'm pretty sure it's apples. Again, you can throw at people. And, and you can like yes. butt-bump people a la Mario. <laughs> so or it's like, you do like, bam! And we have both beat these games. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're fantastic. So, I I had a really good time. Occasionally, I'll be like, hey, let's play this game again yeah. because it's really great. Castle of Illusion, awesome single-player game. Um, one of the ones on the list that I would definitely recommend you look into. It's not super expensive. It's not super hard to find. Mm-hmm. Fantastic classic game. I don't know how that yeah. came out. And then there was games like Fantasia. Different studio, but I mean, yeah. dang. And I, re- you know, I know you didn't like it, um, but I know that you watched me play it. The Castle of Illusion that they remade. Mm. For PS3. It's like DuckTales. It just didn't feel the same. I really liked it. And I loved the... Do you remember that like haunted level? Okay, Creepy Mouse is like the best mouse. Haunted Mansion, just saying. But... (laughs) I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty pretty sure Realistic Dominion of the Mouse Mouse (laughs) is actually the most creepy. Because he's just going to own you. Like, like ghosts. That's all you're going to have left. (laughs) But I really liked that level um, in that remake. I think it was a remake. Um, it, it, I guess remake because it, it was actually nothing like the original game, and mm-hmm. um, that it wasn't good. But I really liked the graphics, and I thought I thought it played fine, um, and it was a platformer. I, I enjoy platformers, it, so I enjoyed it. it I didn't. It I enjoyed the fun. environment. I enjoyed the art, and so I thought it was. Fun. It was really pretty. I, I'd give it the same gripe I give a lot of the newer Mario side scrollers. It had no soul, and it was painfully easy. Where Castle of Illusion will wreck your face uh, for, uh, for Genesis. Castle mm-hmm. Illusion for newer consoles, I could almost play with my eyes closed. Yeah, but see, I feel like you could say that for all newer games. Will we cover that? Rayman Legends. Fight me. 
Yeah, Help but me. that's another one that I've beat, and it's yeah, but it is really, really hard. Though. It is challenging, but I wouldn't say that it's Disney hard. No, but it's definitely not New Super Mario Brothers hard or easy. I should say. We're just like, eh. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Anyways, <laughs> so moving on to our final game, and my personal favorite amongst everything else on this list, uh, World of uh, well, Mickey. Mouse starring World of It's called World of Illusion, okay? Look it up. There you go. Um, <laughs> awesome game. Another platformer starring Mickey and Donald also is a co-op game, a as game. you know, because mm-hmm. we've beaten this together we before in the past. Uh, it's super fun. I really love it. Yeah, no, it's a really, really cool game. You, as Mickey and Donald find this magical book and they get sucked into it. So it's another thing like Mickey Mania where you go through a bunch of different levels. Mm-hmm. Some of them, a lot of them are loosely themed on Disney stuff. A lot of Disney bosses. Yeah, because don't they have like a like a Alice in Wonderland level? Like a card level? Like there are a lot of, yeah, the, the last level is like a card mm-hmm. level. But there are like Alice in Wonderland characters all throughout the game. Yeah. And I remember there's a candy level where the boss you fight is a, what's her face? The, the evil witch from a Sword in the Stone. I can't remember her name, but she has like a red skirt. She's mm-hmm. really ugly. Like, yeah, that's one of the bosses. Um, evil, evil wizard Pete is the last boss at the end. You fight the spider from one of the old cartoons. Just lots of really, really cool levels, and it actually differs heavily depending on whether you're playing it single. Oh, that's right. You play. The, you fight the shark from uh, Little Mermaid in there and everything, because mm-hmm. you actually swim into Cleo's little castle and it's bigger than what. Cool game. Anyways. Very cool. Uh, the single player and the co-op. There are certain levels that are completely separate. Like, I used to play World of Illusion all the time as a kid, but didn't want to tell my friends I liked a Disney game, so I didn't play it with anybody else. Aww. Um, but I played it recently, several years ago, with other people and realized, because I had the whole game memorized at that point, there were whole different levels. I hadn't been playing for, like, 20 years because they were co-op only levels. Mind blown. Uh, just <laughs> really, really cool game, though. Fantastic. Cool little co-op mechanics where you, there are certain levels that you can't get through without your partner. That's why they're like that. And it's one of those games where you can kind of troll people a little bit, where if you use your attack on your partner, you won't kill them, but you'll stun them. So a little bit of fun there, too, with also with that. But just beautiful music, beautiful art style, great game. You should play it. Anything to add there? Then? Yeah, you. Yeah, that's a pretty good description. And it was fantastic. Super I great. concur. <laughs> but that's what we think. Yes. Um, obviously, there is stuff that we missed. And Very much. I'd like to say I'm sorry, but I'm not because we just run out of time. <laughs> it was really hard because as we were writing the outline together, we realized that there were a lot of games that we forgot to add to the list. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there were a lot of games that we just couldn't cover because we had lack of time and, you know, um, yeah. And just, just a lot of games, man. a lot of stuff a going on. So <laughs> it was it was really hard to, to even fit in this list, which was not a small list. It was really hard to fit this in, you know, to like replay them and and kind of remember what they were like. So yeah, well, this will definitely there will definitely have to be another show. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do one with the newer games. Yeah, but. where we talk about newer ones, so, like Epic Mickey. As as I said yes. before, if there's anything that we happen to forget that you thought was really really awesome, or that you had any comments on maybe that we're stupid and the Aladdin mm-hmm. first is actually much much superior. Let us know. Podcast at GameOverVideoGames.com. Drop a chat or drop a chat. Drop a chat window. Drop a comment on the YouTube channel. Let us know what's up. Um, have any ideas for other shows you want us to do? Let us know. Otherwise, I think we're going to head out of here. You ready to go, Brett? Yes, yes. Cool. Well, thank you much. As always, Good night. I'm Matt. That was Brittany. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.